What Manny's mom was considering would be hard for any parent. After working with individuals with developmental disabilities for many years, I understand the worries and concerns. However, that being said, Manny's mom was struggling trying to keep on top of her job and take care of Mandy at the same time. I could never understand the feeling of giving up on your child and putting them in a home, but there comes a point in time when you um there comes a point in time where you need to think about what's best for both of you, um not just what's best for your child. The situation Mandy and her mom were in was not good. Mandy was constantly in trouble with school and was not aware of appropriate public behavior. Mandy's mom had no one to lean on for support and when um and then it got to the point um she had no choice but to look for community living opportunities. The most important thing for Mandy's mom to do would to be um to start a transition program for her. So instead of just sending Mandy right away to school, if she could set up kind of a program so every other weekend maybe she goes to this overnight program where she sleeps um there so she becomes familiar with other people around and sleeping other places. Um, I think using this transition program would be beneficial for both Mandy and her mom. My recommendations for families who are considering community living opportunities is never leave your child with anyone you don't feel comfortable with. Stay as long as you want to assess the place um, where your child will be living. There are so many things to consider when you're looking for community living opportunities. Um, when you care for yourself, uh, when care for yourself begins to diminish, whether that is when your job, family, or friends, or personal dynamics start to change, all of these can be um, situations that affect an individual, causing them to lash out, um, making it hard for uh, for parents to deal with situations. Um, that being said, there are many websites out there that will assist families with planning, transition, financial advice, anything that they kind of need in order to set this program up. Families need to do their research to see what the best options are for them. I want to start by putting, or sorry, they would want to start by putting their child in a day program and testing the waters by having them sleep at a group home one night here or there rather than just throwing them in full force. Giving them this opportunity will help with transitioning them into full-time care. This will help not only the individual, but it will also help the parents settle into their child not living with them anymore. There is also a wonderful summer camp um, for individuals with intellectual disabilities, ages 7 to about 80, um, in Stouffville, Ontario, Canada. This is a great respite opportunity for families um, so that they can get kind of like a week off in the summer. And um, it's a great spot for uh, transitioning. So we have a lot of families that come in and they will leave their child with us for a week. We do um, a great transition program. So we help them kind of integrate in the world, getting them involved with activities and hanging out with other people uh, with similar abilities. This is a great opportunity for both parents and their child. That being said, there are many things to consider when looking for re residential services for your child. The main thing to consider is the benefits your child will be receiving from this center. When looking for a facility, you want to make sure that the quality of the facility is exactly what you are looking for. So you want to make sure that the facility looks clean and that the clients are receiving the best care. I would never want to leave my child with anybody I didn't feel comfortable with or anybody I felt like they wouldn't be getting the best care. You want to make sure that the refrigerator is full and that the bathrooms and the bedrooms look clean. I would never leave my child with anybody um, that I didn't think would feed them properly, anything like that. Um, the other thing is you want to make sure that the people that they will be around will be of similar age or similar ability. This gives them the chance to communicate with somebody along the same lines, um, helping them to develop or improve their social and their personal growth skills. Being, uh, being around individuals with similar abilities gives your child a chance to improve their communication skills, develop the ability to share and play with others, and assist with life skills development. The biggest advice I can give anyone who is looking for community living opportunities is to look into the facility you are sending your child. Ask the families about their experience and ask the individuals how they like living where, they're th where they are. At the end of the day, never leave your child with anyone you don't feel comfortable with.